how to air roll from scratch in 2024. I'm gonna pack down what took me years to learn into a simple seven step process. I wish I had if I could go back in time and relearn air roll. Step number one, set bindings. There are two different controls most people talk about when they say the word air roll. The first type of air roll is what I'll call joystick air roll. This is the air roll that when you go to your settings just says air roll. While joystick air roll is useful in certain situations we'll talk about, the reason it's not enough alone is because to joystick air roll, you need to not only hold air roll, but also push your joystick in the direction you want to move. This means if you only use joystick air roll in the air, your car is technically locked in two directions. You can spin or you can tilt, but you can't spin and tilt at the same time. The second type of air roll and the air roll that I'm gonna teach you today is what's called directional air roll. Directional air roll includes the keybinds air roll left and air roll right in the settings. Air roll left allows me to spin my car to the left in midair while my joystick is free to tilt. In other words, by binding air roll left, I sort of unlock a third dimension of movement in the air that I wouldn't have access to with only joystick air roll. If you want to follow me, bind air roll left somewhere convenient that you can press while you're boosting and moving your joystick in the air. That way you're able to do all the spins that I'm going to teach you later. Step number two, learn each direction before you learn air roll. Now to show you why learning air roll is so important, I have 30 seconds to see how far I can get in this workshop here. But the catch is, I can't use my air roll. Ranked players, if you're still trying to get your peak rank in 2024, listen up. Three years ago, I started my own coaching boot camp, and today we're now Rocket League's number one live coaching program. My team and I have helped over 3,000 mainly plat through champ ranked players, and here are just some screenshots of the results from the players who've joined our 12 week boot camp. Quick warning my team and I are short staffed, and so we can only talk to six new players over Discord call each day. So if you're interested in enrolling and you want to be one of those six we talked to today, hit the first link in the description to DM my discord with keyword air to get details on coaching. And back to step two, simply go into free play and fly goal to goal, flying right side up, upside down, left, and then right. Then when you go to the next step and start to learn tornado spins, everything else will click three times as fast. Step number three is to learn the tornado spin. To tornado spin, hold arrow left while pushing to the right on your joystick. What this is gonna do is it's going to spin you to the left, but for the first half of the motion, your nose will rise and your tail will fall. For the second half of the spin, your nose will fall and your tail will rise. The reason this is so important to understand is because most of the time when you air roll from takeoff, you're gonna wanna use this tornado spin to get your nose in the air and aerial faster. If you ever watch pros go for fast aerials where they're air rolling from the start, they're almost always using the tornado spin, and it's because you get this unique lifting action. Step number four, learn how to speed up and slow down using tornado spins. Now that you understand how to tornado spin on the ground, we're going to shift this mechanic and apply it in the air. I'm going to call this position that you see my car in right now, the neutral position. If you do half a tornado spin from the neutral position midair, your car will slow down. This also means if you go to the neutral position, but then air roll 180 degrees and tornado spin when your nose is facing away and your wheels are facing towards you, now the tornado spin will cause your car to speed up. Practice just speeding yourself up and slowing yourself down only using tornado spins. Once you can do a couple of these single adjustments, right? Speed up, slow down, speed up, slow down. Then you can start continuous spinning. And now all you need to do is time your tornado spin to start from the position you want. Start out with this method. You're going to learn so much faster than if you just jump into the air and try to fly around and expect to somehow figure it out. Now that we finished step four, I'm going to teach you how to turn left and turn right from the neutral position using tornado spins. Starting from the neutral position, to turn right, we're going to tornado spin and push our joystick up and to the right. For just the first half of the motion, if you let go of tornado spin for the second half of this movement, your car should return to the neutral position. To turn left from the neutral position, push your joystick down and to the right while holding air roll left. So for step five, I want you to spend one to two weeks turning left and turning right one at a time. Then when you can turn left and right, at will, for example, like you see me doing in the rings map here, only then would I recommend you start continuous spinning and waiting for that neutral position to adjust your car. Step six, 
fill in the gaps. The way you're going to improve the fastest is by failing faster. You now want to force your car into awkward positions you don't know how to recover from. The more you do this, the more you'll fail. But slowly but surely, your brain is going to start to sort of fill the gaps in your understanding of air roll and you will improve. Your next goal should be able to complete one of Lethemir's rings maps using only one half of your joystick continuous spinning. Step number seven, repeat this framework with cooks your twists. At this point, you should now understand how to control air roll only using tornado spins. The problem is we can't always wait for our car to face a certain direction to start using an air roll adjustment. If you could use a cooks your twist, you can immediately speed your car up from the neutral position. Technically, that's how you would unlock 100% control of air roll left. In practice, however, do I recommend you do this? No, and that reason is because of diminishing returns. When it comes to air roll, diminishing returns means the more aerial car control you develop, the less results you'll see in game. Because the truth is, once you understand how to control all the different tornado spins, you'll get 80% of the results when it comes to your air roll. So to be perfectly honest with you, step seven here is where I am currently sitting and I've stopped my training. What holds any player back is their weakest link. If your weakest link after completing step six or seven is not air roll, do not obsess about getting that last little bit of aerial car control because to be honest, it's going to take you a ton of time to learn and it won't get you that much results. Finally, on to frequently asked questions. Luke, once I learn air roll left, do I need to learn air roll right? Answer, no. You will get 95% of the results if you just understand joystick air roll and one directional air roll. Do some of the pros know both? Yes, but they're competing at the pro level for every advantage they can get, whereas most likely you watching are average. And that's okay, but it means that you don't need to spend 2,000 hours mastering both directional air rolls to, you know, most likely get out of plat, diamond, or champ. If you want to get max results for minimum time, is mastering one directional air roll. Question number two, should I use both both joystick and directional air roll. I recommend you use both. Joystick air roll is easier to use for things like recoveries, whereas directional air roll is more of what you want to use when you're midair. So think those long-term aerials, right? Flip resets, air dribbles, double taps. Those are where you get the most benefit out of using air roll left or air roll right. And finally, last question, Luke, why have I not subscribed to you yet? I don't know, man. I don't know what I got to do out here. No jokes aside, for more air roll control and pro tips, click this video here where I interviewed some pros. And as always, thanks for watching.